The Lions have just selected Jeff Akuda in the draft. Absolutely amazing pick. What is going on, everyone? Welcome to Touchdowns to Home Runs. I'm your host, Noah, and here right now, we are here to bring you an analysis of Jeff Akuda getting drafted to the Detroit Lions. But just before we get started on that, I just want to say if you guys could do a huge, huge favor for us and go hit that subscribe button we're really trying to get this channel off the ground me and my partner bernie have been working really hard to bring you guys some of the best sports content on youtube so if you could just go hit that subscribe button we promise we will not let you down give us any suggestions we you guys want to see from videos we want to hear from you guys i'll try to respond to as many comments as i can but yeah let's get into this analysis on jeff akuda going to the detroit lions so let's take a look before we get into a deep analysis of how he's going to do for the team. Let's get into how he did for Ohio State last year in the Buckeye season, which ended sadly in the playoffs. I was definitely cheering for Ohio State in that game. I'm a huge South Carolina fan. I just thought I'd wear my Ohio State shirt for uh, Akuda in this video, but I was definitely cheering for Ohio State in that game and I was sad to see them lose but Akuda put up three interceptions nine pass deflected 29 solo tackles and two forced fumbles now these aren't huge numbers for a cornerback but that's because guys don't even want to throw to Akuda like that's how good of a quarterback he is sometimes the best stats to have as a cornerback are no stats that's just showing that no one wants to throw to the guy that you're covering because you're covering him so tight all the time He's such a tall, like lengthy player. He has good reach and everything to get to the ball. He has speed to cover all deep threats. He, he has the speed to cover all deep threats and he's still good at like those slant games and everything like that. And he's very good at finding the ball uh, with his back turned to the QB. He's just reads those wide receivers eyes so well that he knows as soon as they turn their head and everything like that, he's turning around, he's finding that ball and he's either deflecting it away or he's picking that ball off. Perfect. But Jeff Akuda is definitely like once in a decade cornerback talent. He reminds me like Ohio State has produced some real good cornerbacks recently, like Marshawn, uh, what's his name? Marshawn Lattimore on uh, the Saints. He just went, uh, he just won rookie of the year, defensive rookie of the year, his rookie season. So Ohio State knows how to produce these cornerbacks and they've shown to have success in the NFL. And I predict no different from Jeff Akuda. So now I want to talk about how Jeff Akuda will be doing on the Lions. First off, I want to say sorry for wearing my Panthers hat. I don't have anything Lions because I'm actually a huge Bears fan, but I'm also a huge Panthers fan too. But I don't have anything Lions and I just thought this blue would be the closest thing that I have here to the Lions. So sorry about that. Yeah, I have nothing else to say. So how will he do on the Lions? He is going to be a guy that will replace Darius Slay, a big guy that they just lost to the Eagles, a real good quarterback in this league. But you got Jeff Akuda coming in, who I predict will be as good or even better than Darius Slay. He'll have some good uh, competition in the NFC North. Like if you look at the guys, like the wide receivers he'll be covering, he'll have Devontae up there, Allen Robinson on my Bears. I think he is such an underrated wide receiver. He'll catch every 50-50 ball. And he's still got Thielen on the Vikings. They just lost Diggs. So he will have some good competition in the uh, NFC North. But I don't think that it will be too overpowering for him. Again, like I've said it, this guy is a good cornerback. He'll be able to cover guys and everything. And I do believe there's not really any real speed that threatens me in the NFC North. But if you play like the Chiefs and stuff like that, or the Bengals, you got John Ross and Tyree Kill there, then you're looking at a different story. And he will have a good rookie season in my opinion, but I don't think that it will be enough to win Defensive Rookie of the Year, but who knows? I think he's a real good player. I just don't think he'll have the numbers to show that he's the Defensive Rookie of the Year. I actually have his old teammate Chase Young winning that Defensive Rookie of the Year in my prediction. But again, he's going to be a guy long-term for the Lions that they need to lock up. They need to have him on the team to rebuild the Lions and be a real good Super Bowl playoff contender in the future. Thank you for watching this video, guys. Definitely go hit that subscribe button. Definitely like the video. And thank you for watching and come back next time.